Well, my name is Anne-Marie Berger. I'm managing partner of Forefront. We are a systems integrator and uh, we've been in business for about 12 years and have been using Pervasive for about 10 of those years. We actually started with uh, Pervasive with data junction times. So we've got a lot of history and we love the product. From Singular to uh, Bell BellSouth, um, Motorola, uh, AIG, we've got a very, very diverse set of clients. We could big enterprise clients and we've got smaller clients. Um, I think what makes us unique is the type of clients in that it's totally diverse uh, on the marketplace. So it could be insurance or it could be market research, uh, manufacturing, uh, you name it, we, we do it. And um, uh, so that's really our, our claim to fame uh, with Forefront. Well, I'm here to present about uh, four different case studies that we have used the pervasive tool very recently on. Um, and they're a very diverse set of clients. Um, one of them is actually a high-end e-commerce uh, client. Another would be a manufacturing client that does thermal printing. Another company does uh, bamboo uh, distribution. And another company was a market research. And each of them has their own challenges. Uh, they have very diverse uh, applications from NetSuite to JD Edwards to Macola ERP. Um, some are very small clients, they only have 10 people, and some are very large clients with thousands of people. Uh, the, the nature of the integration, um, it's not so much about the integration itself, it's all about the business processes and getting the clients to understand that it's just not about data, it's about business and what your business functions are. Um, so that tends to be more the nature of the challenge of, of working with these diverse set of clients and educating them as to how to be successful with integrations. Well, uh, one case, for example, I think is uh, pretty uh, unique uh, was uh, we actually did an integration with NetSuite, uh, uh, which is a new connector for Pervasive, and it's actually an out-of-phase connector. That means that this is the first time they'd actually brought a connector out that was not in the normal release phase. Um, and they came to us because uh, the client had some incredible expectations. So they had an e-commerce site, they had an ERP that was NetSuite, and they also had a back-end logistics firm that was out of Seattle. One group was out of uh, UK, the other group was out of Utah, the other group was out of, uh, of Seattle. And their expectations was this is going to be integrated in two weeks uh, with a brand new connector. So that was uh, quite a challenge. Uh, we did it. We got it up and running with a brand new connector and how we did it was actually sort of working with a client and saying, let's reset expectations. Yes, we'll get the sales orders in to the ERP. Yes, we'll get them shipped. And yes, we'll get the data back out there, but we're not doing all your product catalog, catalog integration. We're, we're going to set the right expectations, but a two week integration with a three brand new applications is pretty intense and the client was very happy. Uh, so that's a, a nice integration case. We're seeing a tremendous amount of interest in uh, cloud computing. So we have a lot of uh, clients that do Salesforce or NetSuite or other hosted applications. And the issue there is they really are looking at improving their business processes and they're taking advantage of this downturn in many cases to um, redo their business processes. It's all about cloud integrating to legacy. Um, so that's what we're seeing a, a huge trend in. Uh, why we use Pervasive, and we, we have a ton of choices. I mean, we as a systems integrator every year have to reevaluate. Uh, do we have the right product set? Are we doing the right thing for our client? Um, so we've looked at uh, a number of competitors. There's a number of open source guys out there. Um, they're good, you know, talent is good and Boomi is good, but they just don't have the depth that Pervasive has with the number of connectors. Um, and we've got to look at the big guys who are trying to come down into pervasive space like Informatica and you know cast iron. We have evaluated them and their price points are just not there. Um, pervasive gives us the right set of tools to do the, the project without having to worry about it. Why we use pervasive is because we have the confidence that they have all of the connectors we need. Uh, we also have the confidence that they have a great support team um, they're a good engineering group, we can call them up and they can, uh, they can help us work through the issues. The other thing that we found is in the real world out there is uh, although there are connectors into applications, the, the APIs 
are generally not as robust as we needed them to be. So we have to be very um, adept at moving away from maybe the API that the application gives us and going behind the screens and uh, putting in data in the database or maybe reverse engineering some XML. Um, and uh, you know, we know that if we purchase Pervasive and we're using Pervasive, we have all those different um, you know, arrows to, to use. It's not just here's a connector and this is the only thing you can use. So you've got tons of different alternatives with using this Pervasive.